Welcome to Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia. In this episode, I'll be studying one of the world's oldest martial arts. I'll also visit the Civil War's killing fields and make a trip to Angkor Wat temples, which is the birthplace of Bokator. Yeah, I'm very reassured I really want to fight somebody right now. Ray is my student and he's strong, faster. He's the best one. Amen, he will be hurt. Hurt a lot. Bogotao is a very dangerous technique. are so big that I think these will explode soon. <laughs> Seriously, I think I'm the skinniest guy you've ever seen in this place. Bokator is a deadly martial art born in Cambodia 1,200 years ago. It was part of the Khmer warriors everyday training and it was designed for killing the opponent. Today, Bokator is one of the rarest combat arts on the planet. Most of its teachers and masters were killed in Cambodia's civil war during the 1970s. The only living grandmaster of this almost forgotten combat art is Master Shan Kim San. His school is located in the slums of Cambodia's capital. His students all come from very poor backgrounds. Some are even homeless and use the school as their home. Master Sean will be my mentor for the next three days, and on the fourth, I will fight his best student. Hi guys, and welcome to my humble home. As you can see, this is not too fancy, but it doesn't have to be. And it's the kind of place where real men train to become real warriors. I sleep here, a couple of other guys sleep here also. Uh, this is our kitchen. All the pots and pans are rusty and old, but this is where we cook every morning and every evening. We do noodles, we do rice, we do vegetables. That's basically it. The Grandmaster students are training right now. There's a different class every two hours. This place starts training 5.30 in the morning and stop around 9.30 in the evening. Now we'll go take a shower together. This is where I do my laundry. This is where I do my doo-doo, and this is my shower. This is not the fanciest place in the world, but it has everything one needs to become a Bokator warrior. <laughs> Bokator is well known for its deadly use of knees and elbows. As a combat art, it has many similarities with Thai boxing. Like all other military-used combat arts, original Bokator has no rules and it is definitely not a sport. This gives the art the advantage of being very useful in actual danger situations. When two Bokator practitioners decide to have a friendly spar, they will have to set ground rules before they fight. For example, hitting the back of the neck and attacks to the genital areas are all forbidden. Cambodia is one of the poorest countries in the world. The people here are very happy and very friendly. So the place to see the most beautiful girls is definitely the food market, because you won't find them in the discotheques. These are good people, hardworking people, who come here to provide for their families. So if you want to do like me, just pretend you're buying oranges, and you'll meet some nice girls. Uh, how many can I have for a dollar? Uh, I don't know. I th oh, uh, the, uh, some, um
<laughs> Maybe that thing is broken because it doesn't make the same sound that it did with the other guy. <laughs> Today I will be practicing kicks, punches and blocks. My master tells me that my opponent is extremely fast and that I would have to build up my routine in giving back some good punches and blows. I would also have to be very careful in keeping my guard up. A traditional ritual dance is a crucial part of Bokator fights. Both fighters will keep on dancing throughout the entire fight and stop dancing only when they do a fast and brutal attack against the opponent. When the attack is resolved, both fighters continue dancing. Sean Kim San is the only remaining Grandmaster of Bokator. The reason for this is the Cambodian Civil War during which almost all the masters of this ancient martial art were murdered. Master Shan himself fought in the war against the communist Khmer regime. But communists won, and Prime Minister Pol Pot rose to lead the totalitarian regime. This was the beginning of one of the most horrifying genocides in the history of mankind. truly understand why Bokator is an almost extinct martial art, I now travel to one of the notorious killing fields. These fields were the place of execution for hundreds of thousands of innocent Cambodians after the civil war. People were brought to the fields to be tortured, mutilated, raped and brutally killed. Pol Pot's dream was to build a totalitarian country where his every order would unquestionably be obeyed. Of the 7 million population in Cambodia, over 2 million people were murdered. Uh, here in the killing fields, there are hundreds and hundreds of graves which were dug up and inside them were male, female, children and elder people. The worst thing about them is that the females that were found in the graves, whether they were small girls or adult women, were all naked, which means that they were raped before they were killed. The Khmer Rouge had very different methods of killing their victims. You see this tree over here? It's called the killing tree and they used to kill small children take their legs, use them as a baseball bat against the tree and crush their skulls and just throw them in the hole. They didn't use bullets here. Uh, bullets were too valuable for killing people. They did use bullets for a game that was like skeet shooting when they threw a baby in the air and some other soldier tried to shoot it in the air and throw it in the hole. My master was forced to quit teaching Bokator during the communist regime. All practice of martial arts were forbidden. At that time, nobody can teach, nobody can learn martial art. You cannot say you are master, you are black belt, nothing. Don't say anything. Don't talk anything. You have to keep secret. If you talk too much, you get killed. Boom. Until now, we just say, why? Cambodian people kill each other. <laughs> we don't know why. Most of Master Shan's family members and friends were killed during the genocide. He himself fled to the countryside to hide and was forced to live long periods without any food or clean water. No food, not enough food, until I eat grass, you know, eat grass, take the grass from the ground. And I'm very skinny. My eye go through there, and I cannot walk. My muscle don't have it. I almost die many times. The presence of death made young Master Sean to make the promise of a lifetime. He prayed to the gods that if he were spared, he would give his life to teach the almost forgotten art of Bogator. At that time, I think I'm dying, but I just uh, pray to the god. Please give me my life, because I have to help my people, my country. I believe God, they keep my body alive 
because I'm the one bring back the Bogota for the people in Cambodia and for the people in the world. Even though the communist regime does not exist anymore, Cambodia is still extremely poor and most of its population has been left without an education. It's time I start pulling my own weight and do something useful for these people. Here in Cambodia, a lot of kids will actually attack you and beg you for money. They're really happy kids who don't look like they're having any big trouble, starvation or anything. But as soon as you look into their eyes, they turn into this really hungry kitten who is begging you for money. Uh, we're going to go and show you where you can spend your money if you want to donate to these kids. You would like to make a donation. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. <laughs> Buy something uh, oh, for the black. children, uh, pencils, paper, uh, whatever they need for the school. If you want to do something smart with your money, just come to a local school and donate the money to these kids. And don't give your money to beggars, because that way begging will never stop. <laughs> This morning we'll be training partner techniques and getting into close combat. In Bokator the distances are very short and so the fighters use a lot of knees and a lot of elbows. Many different weapons are used in Bogator. The most used weapons are the short and long stick. Now my master will teach me how to use the lotus stick. It is a small piece of wood and the oldest weapon in Bogator. Lotus stick is used for attacking the pressure points of your enemy. In attacking pressure points, you do not use force. Instead, the emphasis is on precise targeting. By hitting the exact right point in your enemy's body, you can cause extreme pain or even paralyze your opponent. Tomorrow, I will meet my master and the other students from the school in the middle of the jungle. Before I do so, it is time for me to visit one of the world's seven wonders. I'm going to take one of these river boats and go all the way down to the heart of Cambodia and visit the Angkor Wat temples. Now that's the birthplace of Bokator. Angkor Wat Temple is in the ruins of the Khmer Empire, located in the Cambodian jungle. 1,000 years ago, over 150,000 people lived in this city. The Cambodian Kingdom was the ruler of Southeast Asia from 800 AD to 1400 AD. Bokator was the Khmer Kingdom's own combat art and was practiced by all its soldiers. You can still see the carvings related to this deadly art in the ruins of the temples. While contemporary Bokator fighters meet each other in the ring with a non-violent approach, in the old days everything was different. When two fighters met in the ring, a coffin was put nearby to carry the loser to his grave.
Hello, can I buy some bananas for one dollar? Thank you. This is the last day of my training, and today I will face my opponent. The entire school has come to the jungle to see this fight. Time for my last lesson. Master Shan will now show me the applications for using the Bokator scarf, also known as the Krama. Yes. <laughs> it's very good surprise. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I do straw, like this, yeah. you may be dizzy. You know, cannot see. Also, uh, I do this. Okay. And I hold like this. Do the same punch. Cheers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also another one. Stone? Stone? Yes. Yeah, oh. let's not try that one. Uh, I can try with you without this. Yeah. Okay. So this would crush my skull. Yeah. Uh, no more Arman. No, yeah, no more. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 The students decide to give me a demonstration on hardening training. They will now show me how they keep their limbs rock hard by smashing some coconuts and clay pots. This is the opponent's head, you know, after three or four times of getting hit. I'm going to try to do the same thing. Okay. There's something wrong with this coconut because it won't break. <laughs> okay, feel okay? Well, I don't feel okay, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm very reassured. I really want to fight somebody right now. I just want to go home. Please take me home. <laughs> Saray is my student and he's strong, faster. He's the best one. Amen, he will be hurt. Hurt a lot. You know, the Bogotao is a very dangerous technique. The final fight will be done according to 1,000-year-old Bokator traditions. Me and my opponent will do the ritual dance throughout the fight and stop dancing only when we do attacking moves against each other. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Good. So, all right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Come on. Okay. 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 So. Yeah! Ah! 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 Ah
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Give me pain. All right. Ah. Come on out. <laughs> Birds flying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. I think I'll take a couple of beers and a bottle of painkillers and go from there. My time with Master Sean in Cambodia is now over. Alongside Tubokator, I got to see the long-lasting effects the communist Khmer regime has had on this innocent country. Despite all the horror and all the suffering, Cambodia is still left with hope. I can see that hope in my master's eyes, in his school and in his students. To Grandmaster Shan Kim San, Bogator is also about bringing back the self-confidence of the Cambodian people. He thrives to give all his students a contact to their ancestors and Cambodia's great history. To these people, Bokator is a way of building faith in themselves, their lives and their future. I've never seen anybody this tough. These guys are not human. If you want to really hurt yourself, try to fight this guy. 